Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, I'm Steve. Today I wanna do a quick review, really quick review of an item that I purchased and did an unboxing for. It is the Small Rig Cold Shoe Mount Adapter. I don't know if you can see that, but I purchased an adapter for my Sony A7 III because, as you can see, I like to use an external monitor because with this camera, it doesn't have a flip screen like my Canon M50 does. So when I record videos like this, when I use my a7 III, I have to get behind the camera, set it up, you know, um, then kind of sit back down, hope I'm in frame, do a test, check my video. So I said, you know what? I need a monitor. So the Sony a7 III has one cold shoe on top where you could put a microphone, a monitor, or even say a flash. But I wasn't able to use another device on it. I could only use one or the other. So I bought the adapter and it is pretty cool. There are a couple of benefits and one downfall, which is a pretty big downfall actually for people on another level. Like for me, I think it's fine for now, but maybe in a couple of months, I'll need to upgrade. So here's the good. One, the adapter was only about $21. I think it was $21.99 on Amazon. It's not a lot of money. You could use it if you don't like it. Amazon, you could obviously send anything back. Um, it's made out of metal, if you could see. It's really well designed and crafted. It's not made out of plastic. Uh, it doesn't just slide in and you don't have to worry about it falling off because right here, if you could see, you just screw it in. So it fits on the top pretty tightly and then it screws in here. Really well designed, it's not going anywhere. Okay, number three. As you can see, I can get my monitor right here and my microphone on my camera. So you would say, Steve, and I would say, what? And you would say, it must be perfect. You're getting what you want. Yes, if I wanna use my monitor with my Rode micro microphone, it is perfect. No problems. This is probably what I'm going to use for now, the time being, and probably well into the future. But if I wanted to get a Rode VideoMic Pro, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit this monitor and a Rode VideoMic Pro on the side. It's, it's physically impossible. The VideoMic Pro is way higher, so it's not going to be able to fit so even if I put the monitor on the left, I'm still not gonna be able to get the video mic pro or the video mic, the, uh, the second, I don't remember the name, but it's the one right below it. They're pretty much the same size. There's no way you're gonna get both of those on here, physically impossible. But like I said, for what I'm using it for now, I can get my monitor and I can get the Rode Video Micro onto the left. And that's pretty much all I need right now. So consensus, build quality, five out of five. I don't know where I'm getting these numbers from. I'm just making it up, but I'll say five out of five. It's made out of really, really durable metal and it's not gonna break. It's not gonna scratch. Well, it might scratch, maybe the paint, but build quality, definitely five out of five. Installation, simple. It just slides right into the top fits perfectly on the left-hand side, and you screw it in with a little, little tiny screw. Five out of five. Ease of use, also five out of five. It works like any other cold shoe. You just slide your device on, screw it on, and it's there, it's not going anywhere. Um, I would say for the beginner, like me shooting videos right now, and you probably watching this, it's perfect. I don't think you're going to purchase a $300 microphone at the moment, you know? And I also don't think you're gonna purchase a $200 uh, monitor like I did. So you may not need the adapter, you may only need a microphone, so you might just use the cold shoe that's already on your Sony a7 III or whatever other camera you have. But, you know, you might want both. Or you might want a flash and a microphone or a flash and a monitor. But if you're on this video, you're probably not a professional, and you might be thinking, how could I get a monitor and a microphone on my Sony a7 III at the same time? 
And for you, I say, this small rig cold shoe adapter is perfect. I'll link it to the description below. You'll just have to use a similar setup. Any type of monitor you want on top, because this is a pretty large one, as you can see, pretty big. But your microphone that you're gonna mount on the left has to be a micro or something of this size or else it's not gonna work. But for, you know, what us beginners are using and what kind of videos we're making indoors, this is perfect. Because when I'm not using this mic, I'm using my M50 for video or my A7 III for video and my Blue Yeti, which I'm using now. But that's a story for another day. For this video, like I said, if you're a beginner and you want to use a monitor and a microphone on your Sony a7 III camera, I do suggest the small rig cold shoe mount adapter. It will work perfectly with this type of setup, a monitor and a small microphone. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, please hit that notification bell. It helps me greatly so I can communicate with you, answer all your questions. You've been asking me some really good questions. Keep it up. It makes me want to continue to make content for my page. Again, I give this device, the small rig cold shoe adapter, a five out of five for a beginner. But if you're more advanced and you have a bigger microphone, it's not gonna work. Again, leave your comments below and I will talk to you next time. Later.